you guys? It's Trucker Harley here, and I'm coming to you straight from my bathroom. A little home time, getting ready to go to the gym. Yes, thick baby, thick baby. You see it, but we're trying to get that together, so <clears throat> don't judge me. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drop this video so y'all can see um, how to do some truck stop maneuvers. I really want you guys to get used to maximizing all your space. A lot of times when I go to these truck stops, I've been seeing some of you truck drivers have all the room in the world and you do not use your space what is up with that i need y'all to use y'all space because if there's plenty of space please use it don't be afraid to use it but before we get into the video i want you to like comment and subscribe because your girl is trying to run this youtube thing up and as the videos go, as the subs go, I'm going to get deeper in information and give y'all a lot more of what I got to give. But before we jump into the video, let me go ahead and pay some bills. This video is sponsored by Blinked Up. And this is a black owned company based out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. But what I like most about this company is this is founded by a truck driver. Yes, a truck driver, boo boo. So this is just to let you know, you can always think bigger. You do not just need to be a truck driver. You can hustle, have your side hustles going. And I'm telling you, he is getting the bag. I have one of these um, gun mounts and it is really useful in your truck for your protection. No matter what your company says, get you a gun mount. So let's jump right into the people who are paying my bill. Thank you so much, Blinked Up, for sponsoring my video. As you can see, those gun mounts are very easy to put up, and they can go in your truck, your car, your home, wherever you pretty much need it to be, and it is a good look. So invest in one of those and support this black-owned business. Now let's get back to the video. So I am at this truck stop, and as you can see, I have plenty of space. It is wide open. So I am going to proceed to show you guys step-by-step how to get into this space. So you already know what it is. Once I have found my target parking spot, I am going to park right in front of it, get out, and then give you guys another view. Okay, so here's what it looks like with me standing directly in front of the truck. And what you're gonna see right now is that is my target spot that I'm trying to get into. And this is the empty space right next to it. So I'm going to walk closer to my truck so that you can see where my truck door is lined up at on the passenger side. So if I was to stand right in front of the truck, I'm going to show you exactly what I would see. I'm going to see my target spot. This is exactly where I'm I need to be and what I'm shooting for. So what I'm going to do is the first step is pull up to the empty parking spot. That is my first reference point. When I get here, then I'm going to stop again, look to my left, and then I'm going to see that empty parking space on the other side. That's my second reference point. So from here, I'm going to start my turn out. As you can see, it's an empty parking space. So I'm going to utilize all my space. Okay, so I'm going to hop back in the truck, move up to my second parking stall and start that turnout. When I do that turnout, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys another view of what that looks like and where the truck is placed so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how the truck sits in every maneuver because I really want you guys to understand what your truck 
is supposed to look like and your reference points. If you follow these reference points that I'm giving you step by step, you cannot go wrong. As you can see, this is my turnout and this is the way that the truck looks. It's getting ready to angle itself for that empty parking spot that is right in front of me. So now I'm going to go ahead and hop out so I can give you guys a better look of what this looks like from the outside. Okay, so now that I've hopped out of my truck, I'm going to walk over to that empty parking stall so that you can see exactly what I see. So if you remember, this was our target spot to tell us when to turn out. And this is me turning out. So now at this point, all I need to do is drive forward. And what I'm going to do is utilize all of my space. And this is what I want you guys to do. Utilize all of your space, guys. As you can see, this is an empty parking spot. There is nothing in front of me. So if I needed to pull up even more, I could do that. Never be afraid to use all of your space. The more space you have, use it if that's what's going to help you get into your target parking stall. So as I move closer to the back of the trailer, now I can see where my target spot is. I can see it's a little off to the side. So that lets me know I have to do a little maneuver in order to get into this space. It's not necessarily going to be a straight back. With this, you have to be very careful though because you don't want to hit the trailer or the truck on your opposite side. So make sure that you are using your mirrors and you are staying in front of your truck as you go back. So if you have to get out and look, go ahead and do that. So now I have stops so you can see what I see. So once my back trailer tire gets close to that yellow line, I'm going to stop because as a new driver, I know that my mirrors are off and they're not lined up with my trailer. And I want to get out and look and make sure I'm not in jeopardy of hitting that truck on the opposite side. But I've been doing this for a while, so I know I'm good where I was. So I went ahead and threw that thing in reverse. And then when I did that, my truck perfectly lines up with my trailer and I'm good to go. Hey, see you on the road. road.